Only rarely is there an opportunity to participate in a molecular happening. You're going to have that opportunity, for this film attempts to portray symbolically, yet in a dynamic and joyful way, one of nature's fundamental processes, the linking together of amino acids to form a protein. We know now that the three-dimensional structure and the function of a protein is determined by the order of amino acids along the backbone of the molecule. So protein synthesis involves programming and assembly. And this film, with people portraying molecules, using the dance idiom, tries to animate these two processes, the programming and assembly of a protein. Our genes carry the instructions for ordering the amino acids of each protein. Those instructions are encoded in a messenger molecule, an RNA, depicted in this film as a long, snaking chain. Each of the message units is played by three adjacent people in the chain. Colored head balloons indicate the bases, green for guanine, blue for uracil, yellow for adenine. If there is a message, there must be a way to translate that message. And that's the job of the ribosome and of the transfer RNAs. The ribosome is composed of a large and of a small subunit. And these are depicted in the film as tumbling, rolling clusters of body, amorphous by themselves, but organized and structured when in the act of translating the message. First, the small subunit, with the aid of an initiation factor, captures the message. Then, the first transfer RNA, carrying its cognate amino acid, is brought to the ribosome message complex by a second dancing initiation factor. This requires energy, and that's represented by a puff of smoke. Next, the large ribosomal subunit tumbles into place, and then the process of bringing each amino acid to the ribosome message complex is accomplished by the T factor and its GTP cohort. And so, in the order prescribed by the balloon colors in the message chain, each amino acid is brought to the assembly site to be added to the growing chain by the peptidyl synthetase. Next, in an energy requiring step, the message RNA, tRNA complex, is shifted so as to bring the next message unit into the ribosome to allow the process to repeat itself. At the end, the terminator factor, seeing the termination signal, cleaves the completed protein from the last tRNA, releasing it from the ribosome. So that the ribosome can do its job again, the two subunits are split apart and separated from the messenger by the ribosome releasing factor. My diagram is of necessity static, but protein synthesis is a dynamic process. This movie tries to bring those dynamic interactions to life. Was Brillig and the slithy 30S ribosome did gyre and gimble in the wave. 30S ribosome. Mimsy was mRNA, that colored message unit array.
bound they were in the glorious sun by initiator factor one. Initiator Factor 2 went searching for tRNA, who bore the flaccid amino acid. Then, as the uffish bonds were formed, the 50S ribosome untamed came whiffling through the tulgy grass and burbled as it came. 50S ribosome! 50S ribosome! T-factor plus GTP gathered in tRNA. tRNA! Woo! Gathered in tRNA and came the lumping back. Amino acids both inside, alas, the peptide bond was formed. Peptide bond. And as the index step took place, the message units shift a space. Each tRNA approached the site bearing its amino acid load, whose sequence was determined by the mRNA message unit magic code. Thank you.
Long time did biocomplex turn, the protein grew by tibs and tomes, amino acids linked in turn by the catalytic ribosome. Protein releasing factor, since the end, her vorpal arms went snicker snout. Oh, Fravdis day, Kalu, Kalay, the protein chain came streaming out. <laughs> Then ribosome releasing factor, with jaws that bite and claws that free, released the synthesizing complex and chortled in his glee. <laughs> Twas brillig, and the slithy ribosome did gyre and gimble in the wave. All mimsy was mRNA and protein chain outgrabe. <laughs>